right. So, many cultists died here today. And we have one to talk to. And you have one. So, I'm assuming you wish to wait for him to wake up and interrogate him? Wakey, wakey. What, 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 what happened? What, where, where are, who are you? <laughs> Go to sleep, oh. my baby. Okay, so I'm assuming Man, he's looking at me, right? right? <laughs> <laughs> I just what? said what Radvan was thinking. Oh, God, that's awful. What? Just nothing. You missed nothing. So, um. I did. I did. Move, I would tie on. you out if I could. <laughs> yeah, you can. So. <laughs> I just saw Radavan's. I just saw the look on Radavan's face when I heard that. <laughs> Dude, just go, go home. <laughs> okay, so I know the nothing. Guy, he's like, oh. whoa, whoa, whoa. um, and sorry. Before he woke up, did we have a conversation amongst us? What we wanted to ask this guy, or I don't know, ep- did I'm, you? I'm assuming I'm getting, I'm doing the interrogating, but maybe somebody else <laughs> might want to. <laughs> <laughs> The odds are it's probably you, isn't it? <laughs> okay, did, did you guys want me to ask him anything specific or am I just winging it? Just wing it. Just, I believe I'm assuming in Assuming we would have had a discussion. Okay, cool. You've proven right, yourself so, time and time again. He's going to see me and my trusty little friend here. Okay. Um, okay. He's kind of like leaning back away from the sharp end of your pointy dagger. All right, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to talk with it. Be okay, my, he it kind be of my looks around and he's my like... Hands. Seeing um, all of his dead companions like eviscerated and splattered all across the cavern floor. I'm just gonna say, what's your name? Um, uh, 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 Paolo. Hello. I'll make a deal with you right now. You talk, and I can put this away. Easy? Wh- whatever you want to know. Okay, so I just put uh, it. But if I talk, do I get to leave? Yes. Alive? Yeah. Actually, okay. before I say that, I'll look <laughs> at uh, at Radovan and Kia. <laughs> and then I'll say yes. He says, what, 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 what do you want to know? Who do you work for? The cult. Were you guys expecting someone? Well, uh, not exactly. But they have a a, a, a a guard on rotation that covers this exit or entrance. And who are the cult? Don't really know, miss. Don't get to see them. But I know that they are very powerful and there's a lot of them. And, well, they pay extremely well. well that's good to know. Um... So, are you the first of many guards along the way in? Oh, uh, once you get to the top of the stairs, there's uh, a whole garrison. How many guards would you approximately say live there? 50, 60, maybe more. And then past there, how far until we can meet up with this cult? Don't know, miss. Never got that far. We're not permitted beyond a certain point. Fair. I'm going to kind of look at Kia and Radovan, like, do you guys want to know anything? Is there any other way upstairs? Um, you can go through the front there, uh, sir. Sorry, sir. The front, where your whole army is. Well, yeah. So it's up the stairs to a garrison of 50 guards you, you approximate. Well, not necessarily. They don't live there. I mean, they're not there all the time. They go on patrols. Just like a barracks. Stuff. Well, when you get to the top of the stairs, it's like a, it splits off. And, well, I mean, there could be a bunch of guards there. It depends if you make any noise or not. So, uh, what is this army for? Um, whatever the cult deems necessary. When is the next patrol expected down here? Uh, we change, well, we don't change for another four hours. And then a bunch of others will come down, is what you're saying? Normally, uh, 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 another another nine or ten people will come down and relieve us, and we'll go and get some sleep. 
How much do you get paid to work for this go- for the the order? Five gold a day. And are you loyal or just for the money? Uh, me personally, just the revenue. What if we could give you more? Would you help us? Um, if I could, especially if it means I get out of this alive. I'm just gonna. He's tied up, right? He can't run away or anything. No. Yeah, you got him. You got him back for rights. Okay, so I'm just gonna say to him, if you want me to keep my deal, you don't move while I talk with them. No, miss. I couldn't move if I wanted to, miss. Fair. Okay. So I'm gonna go talk to them. He could. He could help us. You think? Yeah. And tell us how many people are. There's enough uniforms here. We could all dress up, and if he's willing to help us, it might be hell of a lot easier to get in. Yeah. We could try that. Or he could, you know, yell at the top of his lungs the first opportunity he gets. He could, but he seems to be Hmm. financially motivated. How many uniforms are left in decent shape? Um, Because some got fireballed, some got skewered. I mean, let's see. Five plus his. So one of us can just try to be invisible? (laughs) Or, because the dwarves are going to stand out like sore thumbs. So Kia, you could do the chain, the invisible chain. Me and Radovan could put on uniforms. I don't want to take off my own uniform. Here's what I'm worried about is, uh, remember when the seer, or whatever saw like they can tell that he was looking in i feel like they'll be able to maybe detect invisibility some of the cult members you know but regardless we're gonna meet up with those guys we're just trying to get through the guards first yeah i guess guards aren't as smart huh hopefully we'd have them at our back though and eventually they would come down here and see a massacre true and raise the alarm Sure. So, so Radovan, if you don't want to take off your armor, then we can do it and I could turn you invisible with the doors. I'm still be clanking and clinking. And that still doesn't solve the problem of the next patrol coming down here and seeing a massacre. You can't exactly cover it up. We have four hours, so if we move. Yeah, I mean, he's saying that there's no guards coming down here for four hours. Right. I'm going to well, go ahead um, and uh, down uh, a light potion of healing. Alrighty. Could I have one of those? So, D8? Because I'm one still D8. hurting myself. Oops. You want one of mine? Well, I'm hurt, so... For oh, one. Sh- oh, <laughs> what wow. a cantrip. I mean... <laughs> Um, <laughs> so bad. I'm gonna ask the cleric if he'll heal me. Oh, absolutely. Ailas, how badly hurt are you? 16. Okay, does a heal check? Does a cure of moderate 2d8 plus 5? I just didn't want to waste all of his. Hmm. Rather than maybe get one from the cleric. <laughs> and he heals you for 11. Well, I'm down 10, so I don't know. I have potions, I just don't want to use them unless, like, dire, right? All right, he does right. one of these on Redavan as well. Healing him. Oh, healing him. Oh, oh yeah. lucky, lucky. Ah, crap. I'm going to use one of my other And he light. needs to cast a heal on his prince as well, his lord prince. See, we're running. And we we're have a donation. So bad. We- he needs the, the, Thanks, the uh, cleric will uh, need to rest. I'll thank you properly in a minute. Now, um, can I sense motive on the guard to see if I think he's going to squeal as soon as he gets around anybody? Um, you can uh, you can make a sense motive roll by all means. Twelve. <sighs> Can't really tell. He's definitely you. You believe he's terrified of you. Um, he's definitely scared. So, I don't know, guys. I mean, honestly, I think if I give him gold right off the bat and say, you get us past the guards to as far as you can, as you're permitted to go, give the gold to him right away. 
I think he'll do it for us. And promise that we won't kill him. Because then he knows he can run away and be free. I, I trust this guy. Look, I'll go along with any plan you have, Fraser. You've I will too. proven yourself time and time again capable, so... If this is what you want to do, then we'll do it. Radovan, I think we could turn you invisible, and I'm not worried about you clanking around because there will be us visible, so we will be making noise. It's not like we have to try and be silent. Okay. That's right? Sure. Um, Kia, do you want to put armor on, or do you want to be invisible as well? <clears throat> well, what do you think's less... Uh... What do you think's better, seeing a dwarf in this or an elf in this? A woman elf. Do they have helmets? I think, yeah, they have helmets. Yeah, they, they do. They right, do, but yeah. are there any women that were in there? Is it all men? No, they were all men, but... Just be Mulan, Kia. Be Mulan. All right. <laughs> <laughs> do we have any duct tape? Any saran wrap? Even? Oh, yeah, I have saran wrap in my pack. No worries. There we go. So, you know, wrappy, wrappy, and let's... <coughs> I'm gonna start practicing my voice. <coughs> Hello. <coughs> X-Guard, don't do it. Alright, got it. <laughs> yeah, this isn't gonna backfire. <laughs> so, I have, uh, I so, have uh, absolute faith in this plan. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna start getting the armor on. I basically lost my cloak anyway, right? Uh, you understand, Kia, if you wear armor, you have a huge casting penalty. Oh, what does that mean? Um, anytime you try to cast a spell, you're going to have a huge, like, armor penalty that you're going to have to overcome. Yeah. So you're going to have to roll so... a percentage dice for every spell you cast, and if you fail, the ca the spell will fizzle and it will not cast. Aww. So maybe you should be invisible as well, Kia. Sucks. So it's only you? And... And the dude? Who's the, to Unless we who's all the tallest go invisible? dwarf? What's that? The Who's dwarves the tallest are all dwarf? pretty much the same. Dang it. Yeah, dwarves are like little tiny people. That's Unless it. we all go in invisible and we just follow him. But we could then do a the noise factor. Two dwarves on top of each other. <laughs> I don't think the width <laughs> ratio would really probably be. Dwarves are <laughs> dirty little folk. Uh, uh. Oh, Lord. All right, well, hey, if you guys have a better idea... We could totally do that. Uh, honestly, the only thing I was considering is we set up an ambush for down here, wait four hours. When the new guys come in, we kill them too, just to try to negate the negate our possibility for retreating. But you know, that might be safer. Who know? Then eventually, people will start noticing. Well, where's these patrols? Where are these guys going? So it might not even work that way either. So actually, when this when. The Okay, so when the, the okay the entrance way for the patrol to come down, what does it look like? Is it huge? Is it a stairwell? Yeah, let's let's investigate to the stairwell. Yeah. Let's do that. Okay, so you what are you doing with the guy? You basically like sticking a dagger in his back and pushing him along? No, like we're not leaving the immediate area. Like, what does it look like? Oh, you're Where's asking him. Well, we're sure, gonna, let's ask I, him. I, and I want to investigate. I want to walk, and see for myself. Okay, well the corridor from here seems to like go on for a long, long, long way into the distance. Is, and is there any crevice or anything we could hide in? To... Not, I mean, not really. So when they come down here, do they have to come down single file or they can, can they come down like six abroad or? Are you asking him? Well, I'm looking. Um, at, I mean, it's, it's about 60, 70 feet wide right here. Okay, so they can come down in like a huge block of people. Quite, in theory, yeah. I mean, you yeah, don't okay. know if it thins out or gets narrower ahead but well the, yeah so let's walk the length to see with him I'll stay, and I'm gonna stay with him you guys can go take a look all right yeah all right so you guys pretty much we're all gonna head off into the head off down in the tunnel Without... after, okay after about half an hour you're still walking do you want to keep going or do you want to go back because clearly it's a long way Oh, well, I'm going to turn around. I mean, if it's a half hour, that's an hour wasted. Three hours left. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so I'm going to turn go around. back and say, hey, it's way, way, way up there. So It's a long ass way. Yeah. So what do you... So I, I, if we're going to go, we only have three hours before the next guys come down. I think we should just go now. And maybe if we can help it, set up an ambush for them. 
If not, we'll just circumvent them. Because I'm gonna ask him: Is there anywhere along from here to the garrison where we can set up an ambush? Um, not that I can think of, Miss. Uh, that's, that's the, the stairs, reason we, we the reason that they set this up here is because this was realistically the only place to properly set up an ambush. Fair. Maybe the base of the stairs. There's like little crevices. They walk down. Not really. No, it's like a big staircase, basically. The staircase takes about twenty minutes to walk it just by itself. Oh shit! The staircase is a good forty-five minutes away. You said it takes about an hour to get from the top of the stairs to this, you know, this checkpoint. Um, can I look to uh, the dwarven leader and just kind of like, do you have any suggestions? He says, I say we take the little bastard with us and head up the stairs. Let's do it. So I'm going to ask you guys for some gold. Sure. How much do you want? 25 gold? Yeah. 25. <laughs> Here's 25 gold. 25's a good number. I think it's okay, a good number. So Kia gives you, uh, gives um, Racer 25 gold, right of it? Same. Same. Okay. Whatever okay, so I'm going to go to him, man. and I'm going to show him the gold, which I'm assuming he's going to be pretty excited about. He's kind of like looking at, I mean, 50 gold is a decent amount of money. Yeah. So I'm going to look at him, and I'm going to say, this is what I offer you for your help. You uh -huh. don't double-cross us, and you also get your life. Honestly, it seems to me that if I double-cross you that's probably going to cost me my life. Yes. So, uh, whatever you want, I'm I'm willing to provide. I don't have any particular loyalty to these individuals, just they pay well. 50 gold is, well, that's 10 days pay. And, and if I get to live on top of that, well, I consider that quite a handsome bonus. And if we work this properly, they won't even know it was you. And you can well, keep that's your... even better. Well, to be honest, from what I'm gathering, I don't think I'm going to have any employers left by the time you're done. But um, at least if I get out of here alive, that's worthwhile because then I can spend at least my 50 gold. Oh, well, at least you think we have a chance. I think we should <laughs> get moving, Honestly, guys. It's... I don't think you have a chance at all, but um, I'm willing to help you to the best of my ability anyway. All right. Well, then time is of the essence. Get ready to move out. All and right. I'll I'll cut his arms. I'm going to take his weapons, though. Okay, so you take the crossbow and the short sword. Mm -hmm. um, he has a boot dagger as well, which I'm sure you're going to remove. Oh, I will. Um, and so you're going to head him, push him ahead of you, and head down the corridor towards the stairs? And I'm just going to remind him nicely, one word out of line, and I'll be ready. He's like, oh, I won't say a damn word, miss, unless I'm prompted to. Don't you worry. And you'll get us through as far as you are able, as far as you are permitted. I'll, I'll do my best, yes. <laughs> okay, he, he very uncomfortably is like, I mean, you can just tell he's like so <laughs> nervous, like, I don't have a good way out of this. I'm just going to tell him, I'm going to have to look a little more natural than that, so get used to it. <laughs> okay, so you guys are going to head, head, head down the corridor towards the stairs? Off yep. we go. All righty. Where are we at? Okay. Well, um, you trudge down the hallway for at least a good hour. Finally, let me put you guys... Um, it has narrowed considerably at this point. Um, we have... Let me go and steal me a guard real fast. So... Copy, and let me paste him where he belongs. All right. So, um, there he is. And I'm assuming Racer is right behind him, giving him the royal prod. Yep, I'll be right there in case he does something wrong. And let me move the dwarves into position. Okay. 
What's our plan from here, guys? Okay. Well, as you continue ahead, you can see what appears to be a natural staircase. There are, in fact, two old torch sconces at the base of the stairs, but neither one of them is lit. What um, is this right here? It looks like a pool of water, like there's water running down the side of the stairs, like an in, okay. like a divot. So um, I'm assuming we would discuss our plan along the way. Guys, are we going up into that room? Are you guys invisible? Are you going to be invisible? What are we doing? Yeah, what is the game plan? Going forth! Well, how, how long does the invisibility last? Six minutes, I think. Not yeah, so if it takes minutes. 20 minutes, eight minutes to climb these stairs, eight minutes, mm -hmm. we, you know, obviously we'd walk up the stairs before we get to the top. We'd then do it. If that's what we're doing. Are there any guards watching these stairs? What's his name? Pa Palo? Yeah. Um, not typically. Okay. So let's I mean, climb the stairs. There's stair no way to get past the barricade before the stairs, so they assume that the barricade would... Well, our standard instructions are, if we get overwhelmed, one of us is to run back and alert, but we didn't really have the opportunity, because suddenly you were, like, behind us. Alrighty. So, are we... Party, are we entering the room and slashing down everything we see, or are we just trying to get through unnoticed? Well, first let's climb the stairs until we get to the door, right? <laughs> this is like 20 minutes get, climb. Get well, if we decide unnoticed. this down here, we don't have to stop at the door. We can just go. Okay. Somewhere in the very, very far off distance, you hear what sounds like a horn. What is that? Just like over the horn, but it's like so very, very faint. So Sorry, I'm saying that to Paolo. What is that? I don't know. It's not normal? I, I've not heard it before. Well, I mean, I have, but I don't know its relevance. Let's How hurry. often do you hear it? Not very. Haven't heard it for a long time, to be honest. Let's go, guys. Free. Okay. Alrighty. Well, suddenly. Oh no. Radavan. Oh yay! Um, What's up? Specifically, <laughs> as you are at the very back. Of course. And we have a second donation for the night, and we will thank you properly in a moment. You hear like. <laughs> as. Oh Jesus. What appears to be wings are flying all oh. around you. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, so that's a thing. Yeah, okay. That's a thing, yeah, I was just gonna say. Alright. Um, suddenly you're aware that there are strange things. Oh, God. Um, they have, like, red, red rust-like colored fur, bat-like wings, huge, big, long, pink proboscis, almost like giant scorpions. They come from the upper recesses of the ceilings above you, and suddenly begin to like start dive bombing you guys. I'm just gonna say to Paolo, what are those? Okay, so Radavan, let me make some dice rolls. One, two, three. Oh my gosh. Four, five, six. Okay. Um, they suddenly they're like crashing around you. You like pull your shield up. It's like. Ting! And you're like reflecting them off of you like they're swarming you specifically which seems kind of weird <laughs> um one of them however sticks its big massive proboscis oh. in your neck <laughs> and oh. sucks off one point of constitution oh my god oh, oh, oh that's not gross at all man <laughs> that's not fucking gross at all constitution you said all right yeah, you lose you at this point, lower your constitution by one. Doesn't really hurt, because it's like a needle. No, I know. It's like... Fuck, oh, man. <laughs> just the proboscis thing. I Just the imagery. I drank his blood. Just the imagery, man. There's some fava beans and a nice <laughs> bottle of Radavan. 
Okay, so yeah. um, <laughs> so they're like swarming around you. Okay. Okay, the guard is like, ah, what are they? Get him off, get him off. And he starts waving his arms around like he has never seen them before. Doesn't seem to understand. Okay, initiatives, players. And as he's doing that, I'm gonna tell him to calm his shit. <laughs> Slow your roll, yo. Radavan on a seven. Kundin, you have no pluses, thanks for follow, and Lord Cyrix, thank you for the follow. Shaggy, you have no pluses on your your initiative? Hell I no. used to have a minus. Are you have kidding minuses. me? I used to be a minus one. <laughs> Right, that's how you rolled zero on initiative. I remember. Get off of some dwarves. Oh. All righty, and my thingies. Okay. All right. So suddenly it's like they're all over Radovan, like wings fluttering around. They're stabbing at him left, right, and center. Okay, it is Kia's turn. First of all, is Cal still out? Oh. Um, Cal is in cat form right now. Okay, I'm telling Cal to suit up. <laughs> um, and to do what he can while I... Let me zoom in here. One, two, right, three, so four, you want six. Cal in the... Yeah, I mean, Cal is about the same size of these things. Right, so that'll be an equal fight for him, right? <laughs> <laughs> um, There's a Cal, okay. Ah, uh, my spells. Ugh. Okay, uh, I will magic that missile. That so hard to see. I know. <laughs> there it is. Okay, what are you doing? I'm gonna magic missile one of them. I will... Wait. Oh. There's six of them, it seems, to be in total. Oh. I don't know, just any of them. I don't really care which one. Okay. Please! Oh, ten. Okay, you magic missile one of them um, and blow him out of the air, like just dis okay, annihilate. Okay, so him. gotcha. Just incinerated. Okay. Ten points. That's it. Okay. All right. Yeah, that's all it took to kill one. Nice. Um, it is Racer's turn. I will just hack and slash at one. So you're gonna slash at one, okay? I mean, they're bump, they're like flying in and around you guys, so you can you can definitely hit at them. Can I get two my both hits you off? You may indeed, yes, ma'am. There's one. Oh, there it is! <laughs> Natural twenty. Good awesome job. sauce. And second one for eighty. Hits so it that's, twice. That's a crit, yep. Um, so yeah, that would be a crit. So D6 times two, or D6 plus two times two. One D... One D6 plus two, and we'll double it. So first guy gets a Three, six. Three, so six. You killed the first one, or the yeah. second one. Okay, so you want me to roll for the next hit, right? Um, you may, where are you? Yes, you can attack another one. Okay, so the first time, if I was... See, I rolled the first and second attack. I didn't roll... Well, that would have been eight. the crit. But see, the other one would have been plus eight, so it still would have crit. Okay, so just do the plus three. Gotcha, okay, we're yeah. good. So just do the name. Uh, and... and the second one misses. Okay, so you killed the first one. Or so you killed nice. one. All right, um, it is now the dwarves' turn. And there's still four left? Yep. Oh. Dwarf crossbowman fires but misses. Um, this dwarf rushes over and kind of takes like a jumping swat at one, hits it, and kills that one. Yay! All right. The cleric spins around, is like, Ugh! you can see he's like, again, hesitant. This guy cannot get to one this turn. Um, and Radavan, your turn. All right, I'm gonna be hitting. I'm gonna be trying to hit this one. Okay. Uh, da, 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 da. First hits. Okay. Oh. One d eight plus two for damage. Beautiful. Three damage. <laughs> Still alive. <laughs> plus 
plus three second hits. Or possible. Nope. Oh my gosh. Uh oh. Oh, <laughs> one. I just give up, man. Okay. Give up. <laughs> As you swing, I totally you, like, you fucking hit give the up. First one and come back and swing at the second one. <laughs> As you do so, it kind of like you, you hit it with your arm, like it crashes into your uh. forearm, and your morning star flies out of your hand and clashes against the ground over here. Ooh. Okay. Oh, Jukin, thanks for the follow. Okay, in the Morning distance, star. you hear... Oh. Oh, oh. <gasps> Once again. Um, on their turn, instead of attacking, they go... <laughs> and just like, oh almost as gosh. if they were scared off by the sound, the horn sound. Oh. And they disappear up into the rafters. Woo. Can I have my natural 21? I'm fixing to give it to you. <laughs> I sure Thank am. Thank you. Here it is. <laughs> so cute. There you go. There's your one. Awesome Yay. sauce. So yes, you have defeated the vile, evil, whatever they Did were. Did we though? <laughs> oh, I'm gonna pick well, up my morning. Didn't kill anybody? I mean, Radavan's got like a hickey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna pick up my morning freaking, star. Freaking hurry right now. This is not good. Yeah. Okay, I think so Radavan, the only damage anybody anybody sustained was Radavan got a little bit of a hickey on his neck. And he lost um, one point of constitution. Which, Wasted for the spell. time being. For the time being, maybe forever. But okay. who, who the f knows? <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool. Pick All right, up my so morning you, star. Still have, you still have the winding stair ahead of you. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. All righty. Make haste. The stairway seems to go on forever, but finally you reach the top as it opens into a wide caverned corridor. All right, let me move you into the area here. Um, you need a guard, don't you? Let me, let me give you a free guard. Paolo. I'm just stealing Paolo from the other map. I'll put him right here in front of Raisa at the pointy end of her stick. My stick. As the other dwarves come into the corridor. There you go. All right. Um, so that's as far as you guys can see and of course once again our players cannot see anything past the lit up area so they can only see everything in this area here um the corridor is about 60 feet wide um the ceilings are extremely high as before so you can't really see what's directly above you and radavan as per usual you are thumping around in the pitch black unless you're lighting up your shield again Nope, not doing that yet. So you're probably like one hand on a dwarf to be led, led around right now. Pretty much, yeah. Yeah. Okay. What do you guys wish to do? Um, I'm just going to ask Paolo. So what's what's ahead? What's what's happening? Um, well, from what I remember, he said uh, up here, not too, past, not too far past the statue. You can go left, and that's where the garrison leads. And we're not permitted to go straight ahead. So I don't know what's that way. Mm. So I'm going to relay this to everybody. Do you guys want to chance it and just go straight? Or do you want to go through the garrisons? Maybe we should just go straight then. If that's the way we're, we're, we're supposed to, to go to the center of it, right? Yeah, if we're trying to avoid conflicts, we don't want to go to the garrison. Right. Let's go straight. Uh, should and you don't uh, know what lies ahead. Wait, uh, has no, no, ma'am. I'm not. We're, we've never been permitted to go in that direction, sir. Have you seen anyone pass by the statue? Um, only, only that black knight. He's the only one that's gone that way. Black knight. Well, whatever he is, he's nine foot tall. He has a shield that's about eight foot tall, covered in spikes. <sighs> He wields a massive sword that's bigger than, well, bigger than me. 
and he's covered in black plate mail from head to toe that's got these hideous skulls and spikes all over it. He leads the garrison. He's what keeps everybody in line. Not that he ever says anything, everyone's just terrified of him. Jeez. See, I, I, I just have a feeling like the statue is something. We can't just pass it. Like, what if it knows that we're not, we don't belong? Well, the statue's broke. It's laying on the floor up there. It's of some old dwarf god or something. I don't know what it is, but... Uh-oh. It's smashed. Oh, no. It's laying on the ground. What? Oh, one no. Of the dwarves. Dwarves, calm down. These bastards have desecrated one of our one of our ancestors. I told you, this used to be the dwelling of our late ancestors in the past. Well, I cannot abide by some nasty ass cult coming in here and desecrating dwarven hierarchy. Are you really surprised that they desecrated your mountain? Surprised? <laughs> no. Well, Hoping. then keep your emotions in check, please. Let's focus on what we need to do here. We kill the cult leaders. We disband the army. We don't have to fight the army. We kill the leaders. Sounds good in theory. Never seems to go that way, though, does it? Well, I mean, so what, do you want to burst into the garrison and just pick a fight? Pick a fight. Not if we can help it. Well, straight it is. Let's go. And I'm going to kind of I... look at you, like, if you want to contradict that, that's fine, but I'm just kind of trying right, to hurry. Well, so. The dwarf with a crossbow, the dwarven lady goes, you go first. Make sure nothing bad's ahead of us. I'm going to kind of... So he kind of like... Hello, let's go. Leads a little, little bit ahead. I have my hand on Kia's shoulder. She's leading me. I, okay. okay, so you're... You're stuck up Kia's butt. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> I've been in worse places. Cleric. Your dwarven cleric is bringing up the rear. <laughs> Sorry, I had to. I mean, you know, the swamp, the court and sewers. Let's be honest. There you here. go. Yeah. yeah. All righty. Yeah, Kia's butt's nothing new. <laughs> hey -oh. Let me move this up. Are you in a tavern? <laughs> nope. But that's, that's about the amount of people that you can hear. Oh my god. Um, suddenly you hear the sound of many running feet and chatter from the southernmost um, corridor, which is... Hug what you're the at. north wall now. Invisibility. Time to go invisible, guys. Touch Come on. Hug Touch wall. Okay, hold Hug on. Wall. So who's doing what? Let's see. Ra um, Racer? Well, the dwarf... I mean, everyone's kind of spread out right now. Um, did I put on any armor? I don't know if I did. I don't think you did. No, because I didn't want the armor penalties so, either. So, Kia, are you casting invisibility? Yeah, not and until... And if so, all on who? Because you can't touch oh. everybody. Because everyone's Not until everybody's comes up to me and grabs a hold of each other. Shoulders. It's too late. Do it on who you can, you know? Oh, I have to decide now. Yep. Is I Radovan mean, holding feet, on? So some of them are like 30, 30 to 40 feet away from you. We can say, come here. I'm, Yeah, I'm holding on to you for sure. But, you know, kind of like, if you got to do it, you got to do it. Um, okay. That's do fine. it. Yeah. Doing it. Okay, so who are you casting invisibility? Uh, basically, you can hit you, Raysa, Radovan, um, the guard, and that's about it. Uh, I probably would have done Raysa then. To be honest. Okay. You would have? Okay, yeah. so Racer okay. is basically invis. That's the only one that is. So I'm hanging on to our guard as well. So I'm going to tell him, you're going to be invisible. Shut up. Okay. So he is invis. Let's, let's do this. So we'll put invisibility on him and Racer and Kia. Oh. You're, you're invisible was, as well? I thought I was casting it on Racer. Okay, so you're not yeah. invisible. You're just casting it on Racer. Okay. Yeah. Alright, so basically, and Racer is hanging on to the guard, so Racer and the guard are invisible. Okay, so, out of this corridor comes a swarm of armed guards. I mean, thus far, you can't see where it ends. There's more of them. They just, like, keep throwing themselves out of there. Um, looking, basically, it's like they're just funneling out, like, tons and tons and tons of them. 
in like attack mode? Shields up, swords out, like they were really? ready, almost like they were anticipating your arrival. Okay, um, they all kind of come charging out in this direction, funneling through. Uh, of course, you two are at the far. Radovan and Kia are at the far side. You can't be seen, Raisa and. Um, oh, sorry, Kia, uh, Raisa and the guard. You're not seen. Pick these up. Fit more in. as they clamor into the tunnel. Let us know when we can do things. I will. Uh-oh. Okay. Um, looming behind them, a dark shadow can be seen several feet <laughs> taller than the rest. As it enters the light, a huge man, maybe nine foot tall in black spike plate mail appears, carrying a bastard sword in one hand and a oh. huge spiked tower shield in the other. Ooh, so it's the dark, the black knight. It reminds you somewhat of the crimson knight you faced back in Reldon, but instead of the, having the air of grace about him, he just has the air of sheer mass destruction. Upon seeing that, the dwarves charge headlong, like into the, the, the charging might of these guards. The Dwarven Prince says, You go on! We'll hold these off as long as we can. You came here for a purpose. You go do the task. No point all of us staying here. What do you say, lads? Let's give him a Dwarven <gasps> weapon! Charge! And every Dwarf just like charges headlong into the guard. Oh my gosh. Like, ah! Okay, all right, up hearing ahead that. Of you, basically, this Dwarf right here is like turned at an angle like he's it's almost like he's deliberately trying to create a, a corridor for you guys to run behind him oh man Ugh. <laughs> oh man so hearing that i'm immediately gonna do what they intend so i'm gonna tell pele run along pele, the right hand wall he kicks his ball up he shoots his score Shh. or what's Paolo. his name Paolo, i'm messing with you hello okay yeah. yeah so you're gonna push him on yeah, so basically I want us to run, like, up here and around. Okay. So however far we can get. Yep, um, the guards are just, like, wailing in at the dwarves. And, I mean, the dwarven <laughs> prince right here is, like, any guard that attempts to cut you off, he's, like, diving across in front of and swinging, like, crazy, like, ah! Just, like, not even trying to hit him, just trying to make him terrified of his presence so they don't try to stop you. So he's, like... Um, uh, just, just doing everything he can to give you guys a chance to run through. Let's go! Okay, so you guys are funneling behind the dwarves as fast as your little legs will carry you. Yeah, I okay. guess so. <laughs> um, as you basically can see the guard, the as you're running, looking, kind of glancing behind, you can just see the swarm of these guards are just like descending upon the four dwarves. Oh my god! As gosh. you can hear them, like, ah! and you can hear, like, you can hear, like, dwarven magical spells are being cast, axes are being wielded. It's hard to believe that they have any chance of survival with the number of odds that they have against them. Oh, that's so sad. What is As that? you continue to push your buddy, Paolo, and flee down the northern corridor into the depths ahead of you. Okay, leaving the dwarves fighting for their lives valiantly behind you, but obviously so that their sacrifice is not in vain, you pursue um, westward into the heart of the mountain. Ugh. Oh my god. It is a long corridor ahead of you. As you begin going forward, you're noticing that the, the walls have become man made. They're smooth. They're like actually bricked up. So it seems like you're entering some part of the, 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 the inner sanctum of this mountain that has been somewhat civilized at some point. You continue to push forward, corridor after corridor, after about 10 minutes or so the battle behind you is a very distant memory. I mean, you can barely hear the clashes. 
it's almost like as you're walking, you, you want to hear it. Because at least all the time you can still hear swords and axes <laughs> clashing. You know the dwarves are still alive. But finally, you be, you've extended yourself beyond that point to where you can't even hear it anymore. They're so far behind you. Oh, that's so sad. Rip dwarves. No. Who knows? Yep. But as much as we love you, that is where we're finishing tonight. What? 10.30, almost on the dot. Chronicle Phoenix, thanks for no! that follow. Oh, those Holy dwarves, moly. man. Okie dokie, pig and a pokies. Hi there, I'm Gorbad, the Dungeon Master on How We Roll. And if you'd like to follow my personal challenge, you can do so at twitch.tv slash Gorbad. Or follow me on Twitter at Gorbad. Hi guys! I'm Bane. If you'd like to hang out with me some more, come chill in my own personal stream at twitch.tv slash Bane1271 or toss me a follow over on Twitter, YouTube, and Facebook at Bane Blackstar. I hope to see you soon. <laughs> oh, oh, hi. I did not see you there. When I'm not playing a badass cleric of St. Cuthbert on How We Roll, I am Shaggin. You can follow me on twitch.tv slash shagget, or on Twitter, if you can figure this out, at aneb underscore convos. See you guys. Hey guys, I'm Jane. I play Kieliana on How We Roll, as you probably know. Uh, you can follow me on Twitch at twitch.tv slash janeivana. I stream sometimes. Or you can follow me on Twitter at jane on Twitch, and that is with a zero. Peace, suckers.